Hey, what's good? It's me, Captain Balsack. I'm here to show you... Well, this is my first Starbound video, actually. Hello. Um, I'm probably going to do this shit more often if this video um, does well. But yeah, here you go. Um, as you saw by the title of the video, this is a passcode locked door. All right? You can enter a password. It has a little memory right here. The, you see these 40 slots? They're going to act like a memory. We got this thing right here. I'll explain everything, all right? But look look when I go into wiring mode, you're going to see a whole bunch of shit, all right? Look at the connections. They're pretty fucking intense. Um, I might uh, show you how to build this shit um, if you want. Um, but yeah, I'll demonstrate how it works. So we got the keypad here, all right? Um, digits 1 to 0, all right? That's 0. This is 1 to 9. Uh, we got clear and we got enter. And we got that door right there that's locked. So if you were to, if you go on a fucking Starbound server and you want to store something um, somewhere where only you can access it, um, you can pretty much make a pass passcode locked door and uh, call an admin there to protect your thing, you know, um, so nobody can grief your house. So the only way in is through a door. And uh, you'd, you'd also have to make sure that the server's vanilla only so people can't, you know, teleport inside because, oh boy, do f these fucking nerds love modding their bullshit. And uh, so, yeah, this is this is the pr pretty much the best way to secure something if those three things were true. You know, you, you were in a vanilla server that has admins that can protect um, your creations. So um, I'm going to put in the password. Uh, the password is 1390. So, all right, this is since uh, the the ticks are slow as shit, um, I'm going to have to be very patient when entering the password. So you see, we got some um, activated persistent switches right here, and they correspond to the actual digits that I entered. You know, that's uh, that's the this is what the one looks like. This is what three looks like. Um, 9 and 0 look like that. So, yeah, whenever I press a button, um, this thing that I made uh, cycles between, uh, like, w when you click one button, when you activate all four of these, they're connected in a way where when you activate all four of them, the next one activates itself. And these latches um, follow up with uh, the thing. So you activate different persistent switches as you press more buttons. So that's how I created a memory for this thing. So that's one, that's three, that's fucking nine, and that's zero. And if I press enter, yoink, you see the door opened. And I would have to make like a timer so the door opens longer, you know. But whatever. Um, this is just a demonstration room. If I were to actually make this um, to, for use, I would make the keypad much closer to the actual door. And you can do that. I could extend this room, make the door right here. You know, extend this uh, shit with uh, OR switches, you know, the signal. This is the uh, final out. This is actually the final output, I think. Yeah, so you can extend the signal to pretty much any door you want um, using uh, what's called an um, OR switch or an AND. Uh, wait, an X OR switch. Those those can extend the signal and not have a delay. So yeah, that's another pro tip for you. But yeah, um, let me clear this shit. Um, clearing takes a little while, uh, but whatever. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking try to enter this. Um, press enter. Nothing happens, of course, because I didn't enter the password. Um, let me check if I need to... Okay, yeah. I'm gonna start pressing random buttons now. Alright? Just to demonstrate. I pressed fucking... I don't even know what I pressed, dude. Uh, I'm too lazy to use my brain to figure out what buttons I pressed, uh, you know, what numbers. But yeah, you fucking... Look, look at how many of these things got deactivated, alright? And I cl click enter. Nothing happens. I gotta cancel it and enter the right password. I'm gonna do it again. You know, just to prove it, that the, th the shit works. Um, 1390, you see a lot of fucking AND gates, a lot of logic shit starts lighting up. And bam, I can open the door. So, um, as you can see, the um, persist persistent switches that correspond to the activation of the keys 1390 are hooked up to a bunch of AND switches. Um, they hook up to more AND switches. Um, they hook uh, up to a bunch of NOT switches for literally every other key that is not supposed to be pressed. Because um, if I didn't uh, use these NOT switches right here, 
if I uh, typed in 1390 and then another button, um, I, w I could still open the door, but I don't want that to happen. I want the code to literally only be 1390 and literally nothing else. So you need to have a bunch of end switches for every um, persistent switch that is not activated through um, pressing the buttons 1390. So you hook up every, uh, th that's how you program the code basically. Um, you can make, uh, you can, I think, I'm pretty sure you can make it uh, um, much more uh, numbers. You you know, if it, it could be like a five, six, seven digit uh, lock if you want it to. Uh, so yeah, this pr this system is pretty, uh, although it's slow, it's bulky, um, It's it, it doesn't have many flaws. If you want it to um, make your password 1111, um, there's, a, there's a slight uh, problem with that. Because uh, if you see, if I type in one, uh, again one, and again one, uh, three ones will be the same as four ones, five ones, six ones, seven ones, uh, because we have a very limited memory right here. So if you wanted to have um, fucking, what am I trying to say? If you wanted to have a passcode lock that has a lot of ones in there, and you wanted to you know, have a lot more memory, you'd have to create more of these AND switches and uh, a lot more of these persistent switches right here so you can store memory. But if I wanted a, a five, um, five or six or seven digit um, passcode lock that uses different numbers, I can do it with 40 of these memory cells right here. Um, so if you're uh, asking now, why the fuck do I activate two persistent switches um, when I press one button, like, what is that for? Why, why is that useful? It's not. It's uh, basically me not knowing how to make a more efficient system. So I stuck with two persistent switches activating upon uh, clicking one button because I simply don't know. Okay, see, I pressed the uh, button too fast and now I fucked up my password. Even though I typed in 1390, I didn't do it uh, patiently enough and my shit got all fucked up. So... Yeah, I gotta pretty much enter it um, again. So yeah, upon um, along with uh, you needing the right password, you also need to be patient. And if uh, somebody sees this for the first time, this passcode lock, and they start, you know, spamming buttons trying to crack the code, um, that uh, limitation of you having to be patient will also fuck with them trying to crack the password. So now you're saying. Um, if you're smart with wiring, which some of you are, of course, you, you've wired shit in Starbound before, um, you're going to say, well, um, judging by uh, the looks of this simple memory fucking and switch logic system, I can reverse engineer um, and uh, look at what the real password is, you know, keep trying and trying to crack it by looking at the and switches. And uh, there's actually a pretty easy way to fix that. So um, to fix that, what you do is um, make the uh, make the make all of this shit. All right, I I might teach you how to make this, but you make it, and then uh, you make it in a big fucking tank, and you fill it up with oil, and then you make a bunch of logic stuff, and you just scramble it, uh, just to make a lot more wiring um, connections, so they obscure the view of all the actual working. Uh, logic bits that are supposed to help you get the door unlocked. So what you do is to it in order to obscure, in order to hide this, just fucking drown it, fucking submerge it completely in oil. That's it. That's all you gotta do. So yeah, there's there's a fix for uh, potential hackers uh, too. So yeah, if you wondered if it if it was possible to create um, a passcode locked door in Starbound, it is possible. Um, I just made it. Um, I also made a much simpler um, non-memory based fucking thing, and I'll, I'll do it now. I forgot that it, it was in this world. Just bear with me, Jesus Christ. I made one that doesn't have memory. It's much more, more simple to make, but um, it its uh, password could is also 1390, but it could be any, combi any uh, sequence of the digits 1390 because it doesn't have memory so you can pretty much type in the password reverse you can scramble the digits and everything these guys need to shut the fuck up here it is all right i have private area access denied 
um, I can enter the digits mu much faster. See this logic shit right there? Um, it doesn't have memory. It just uh, looks at what button I pressed. So if I press all this shit, these random buttons, and try to enter, nothing happens. But if I press 1390, it, it'll let me in. And it's, it's going to say access granted. It's going to stay open for a couple seconds. And uh, I can keep pressing the green button to, you know, for it to... It's, it's still going to let me in un unless I cancel it. All right, but the limitation with this thing, with this much simpler, much more easy to make um, passcode lock, uh, you can type the password in backwards and in pretty much any uh, order, and it'll still fucking uh, let you in. So there you go. Check this out. I got a bunch of money stored in here. This is all legit. Um, so yeah, I can also teach you how to make this if you want. Um, if it really interests you that much. I also have it looking really cool with this, you know, um, what are these called? I forgot what, they were, what these were called. The customized signboard? Um, so yeah, it, it, it says access granted when you, when you type in the right password and get in. That's pretty cool. So yeah, thanks. This, is a, this has been a really long video, but I don't care. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you want me to teach you how to make this thing. It's complicated. But I'll do it for you, alright? I like the game. I recently got back into it, so... Whatever, dude. I'll show you how to do it if enough people ask me to do it. This guy has a nice sticky bombs. Bye-bye. Uh,